and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 4 Wimacy Challenge. We are here with our family. And I think Nina is actually up. So let's get her into the bathroom to take care of her needs. Uh, let's get her some breakfast. Um, let's go ahead and let's see. What's in here for leftovers? We've got some grilled cheese. A little bit of fruit salad. Salad. All right, let's serve up some breakfast, I guess. Let's make up some pancakes. We haven't done that in a little while. That'll be good. Um, okay. Gage is a pretty well slept, actually. He's about to get up. And uh, then we've got our daughter, whom, again, is ready to get up. All right, it is a Sunday. So today, we're just going to stay home, work on whims and such. Nina is probably feeling still pretty darn guilty about everything that's went down recently. Um, but she did dodge a bullet. She didn't get pregnant from it, so she did dodge that one. Though I think she's very lucky that she dodged it. Because honestly, I was not expecting that. I wasn't. Alright, so I'm going to have Jenny go ahead and get up and take care of those needs. Um, and then I'm gonna let her eat the fruit salad that's in here already. Let's go ahead and grab that serving. Get that taken care of, and then we can move forward. Oh my goodness, that scared me. The flea market's in town. We might actually need to go to that. Um, I'm not sure though that we really need furniture. We more need money just to be able to build onto the house because of the fact that we don't really have much going for us at this moment. But, um, I'm kind of hoping that someone is going to get a promotion here soon and it's going to get better. I'm really hoping, but I don't foresee it happening, unfortunately. I really don't. What's wrong? Are you got a friend under your bed? Alright, go ahead and just take care of your needs. She's like, don't mind if I do. Oh my goodness, look at all these dirty dishes. Oh gosh. Okay, and uh, she wants to be funny with her mom and talk about her school day. And she wants to buy a puppet theater and bu buy a pool. You know, she is very needy. I just have to say, very needy. Alright, so we are done with our pancakes. I should have just made like a four plate kind of thing, but I didn't. I didn't. I think she's just going to stand and eat because she doesn't really have that much going for her. Um, unfortunately. Alright, so I think we're going to go ahead and clean this up when we're done. He is still sleeping. When he is up, I will get him in the bathroom as well. We'll take care of all of his bathroom needs, and then we'll go from there. Because we do need to get him, uh, you know, cleaned up and stuff for the day. Alright. Come on, Jenny. You're taking forever in that shower. I think she's honestly like, yeah, Anne. Alright, so he is up. Get him in there to take care of his knees. And then we'll go ahead and have him grab a serving of this. He also wants to buy a puppet theater. And he wants to buy a hot tub as well. I don't really know how cheap the hot tubs are on this game. To be honest with you. But, uh... We do need to uh, look into it. We do need to look into it, unfortunately. Okay. So, while we're thinking about it, let's go ahead and just look right now and see what we can come up with for price range for a hot tub. Now, the puppet theater, I don't know how much that is either, so we can look into that as well, because we are going to need to kind of know how much we're looking at here. So, under plumbing and tubs I think uh, the first hot tub is 3,000 no way 1,500 okay um, and the kids puppet theater thing is what 
850. 55, I think it said. I think it said 855. So. I don't know. One's for the parents and one is for the kid, really. So. I think we'll just have to, like, keep our eye on it. We are actually pretty close to the uh, puppet theater, though. We have 722 already. So, that shouldn't be too bad. Um, she's just dancing. Alright, why don't you go ahead and be funny with your mom? So, what did we click on? More funny. Um, why don't you go ahead and tell her an inside joke? My cats are going crazy. Crazy, crazy cats. Alright. What is that noise? Is it this? Oh yeah, it still has a monster under there. You just can't see it properly. Oh my goodness. Well... Now we know what she's been up to. Did that not work? Oh, so well, I mean, she was funny with her. Did she want to throw another slumber party? How did I know? Alright. I am going to have you repair this. Um, and what do you need for your job? He needs mischief interactions. I don't know. I just feel like Nina isn't really happy here. She's not happy in like this relationship where they don't have money. Um, they can't get what she wants. And obviously she wants a lot of stuff. So, I don't know. I don't know how she's going to deal with it. Either whether it be, a, you know, she deals with it by getting a divorce or what. But, I don't know. I'd be kind of upset if she if she literally divorced him for mon for his money, but or divorced him because he doesn't have money, because she kind of knew what she was getting into from the very beginning. But then again, it is Nina, so we can't expect too much out of her, right? Right. All right. What's the problem? See what's happening. Why don't you talk about your school day with your mom? Uh, friendly. Can you talk about your school day with her? Best friends with her. Talk about school. Let's see if that works. Because if that works, that'd be pretty cool. All right, common upgrade parts. There we go. She wants to become happy. What is he playful? From dancing. He needs to do some mischief interactions. Can you please just, um... Um, can you spray this or what? No, I guess not. Talk to the monster under the bed. We'll see how this goes. She was unsuccessful in her attempt to communicate with the monster under their bed. Looks like it doesn't want to be friends right now. Alright, that's fine. Alright, so we really need to, like, do something in this LP. We don't really have much going on. Alright, throw it away and mop this up.
I honestly wish they had more whims than what they do. Because they don't really get that many different whims. They kind of repeat the same things over and over. So, kind of gets boring, but... I wasn't the one who made the game, so... Alright. He is taking care of the bathroom, which is good. He's gonna pull away the toy. He is just doing everything. And I'm okay with it. He's cleaning the house. Why don't we have you put away this, uh, food, though? Why don't you go and put that away? Because we don't want it to go bad. Alright, what is she up to? Tell a joke. Well, tell your mom a joke. Uh, be funny. And tell her a joke about cartoons. That works for me. We don't really have that much money. So it's not like we can really go out and buy anything or anything, so... We just kind of are gonna have to wait it out. I don't know. We can't really buy any... They, the parents both have buying interactions that they want to do. She is a slumber party... A slumber party. And to become happy, so that doesn't really help either. Try to calm stuff down in Mir. Alright, let's try to calm down. At least we'll have worked on something. Because we haven't really worked on much at all in this LP so far. Alright, and now she wants to be mean to someone. What the heck? Alright, well we're just going to be mean to this person. Rude introduction. Maybe, if she decides to finish up. He's reached level 2 in dancing. He's danced that much? Dang. Alright. And now she wants to make a friend. I think uh, Nina has put on a little bit of weight, which actually suits her, I think. I think she looks nice with it. Alright, so you want to send a happy text. And let's go ahead and do that. We're just going to send it to Billy Jang. You want to make a friend as well. Okay, um, meet someone new. Oh, it's almost Cassandra's birthday. Do we know this person? No, we'll go ahead and give them an introduction. That'll finish that off for us. Alright, there we go. I love how the parents are just dancing. Alright. Now we're all gonna dance. Oh, 
Old Lady Central. This man just walks in our house. I guess just talking to him. Well, I guess we did introduce ourselves to him, but... I didn't know if you said hi to somebody that meant come on in my house. I must have missed out on that memo. Because I wasn't sure that was what that meant. Oh, not much is really going on, huh? Alright, let's go ahead and uh, let's try and do our mis miscellaneous and inter mischievous interactions with this guy, I mean. Okay. Let's do... Invite him to a fake party. Um, rile him up. Um Harsh up on I want mischievous. There we go. Do the Noxious Cloud and Why about your career? We're supposed to be talking to this guy. Um, claim to be a criminal mastermind to see him and see what he says. Alright, she's up to level 4 in motor. That's awesome. Um, ask about his career. Alright, let's go ahead and um, instill him with false confidence. And then after, go ahead and... Um, insult him and... Um, share a conspiracy theory. Could you imagine just striking up a conversation with someone and it being about a conspiracy theory? It's kind of odd, if you ask me. But, it's not me, so. His mischief is uh, pretty much a level 7. It's crazy. Alright, mischief. Try and pickpocket him. Let's see, mischief. Do the Noxious Cloud as well. I don't think he's going to go for this pickpocket one. But he might go for the Noxious Cloud. Oh no, he did. Haha. <laughs> Gage can now describe a apocalypse to describe the apocalypse. Come on, we gotta hear this. <gasps> oh my God, are you kidding me? Oh whoa, girl, <laughs> those uh, those big babies. Why did he just throw a freaking thing in my face? Let's see. Mischief. Go ahead and trick him with a hand buzzer. I used to have a mod in for this. Trick him with a hand buzzer thing. That actually made it where you could, um, kill them from it. But I haven't had that in for a while. I was using it for the stream. Just to, um, be able to... Get a little bit more out of my stream. Uh, describe the apocalypse to her. I want to kind of see what he says. Uh, 
He is done with his mischief interactions, though, so we don't have to do them anymore. Whoopi Gorsh. What's that lady wearing? And why is she knocking at my door at this hour in the morning? What is Jenny doing? She is always flipping out about the stupid bed. I honestly can't remember if the stupid thing actually sits under the bed until like someone sprays it or what. I don't know. But it would be interesting to kind of find out. What do you want to do? Tell an unbelievable story? Yep. Alright, well, I mean, guess. While well, she's standing right at your door, let's take advantage of it, I guess. Um, there we go. Please do this. It's an unbelievable story. Can't believe it happened. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's see. What else does she he want to do? Make a friend. I don't think any of them are really that close to being our friends. Nina, you did that on purpose. Seriously. I swear you did. I literally tell him to come in there and scavenge her. She just picks it up and goes to throw it out. Like, nope. Not getting this one. Like, come on. Alright, it is 11.23. So let's go ahead and spray the monster under the bed. This should ch make uh, Jenny chill a little bit. She is freaking out. Alright, are we better? Let's get you to the bathroom. I honestly think that um, Nina is trying to stay away from Sten uh, Stenson. Stay away from Gage as much as possible because I think she's starting to feel really guilty about everything that's went down. And she knows that if she sticks around him, she's going to feel bad for him. And then she's going to let it out and she doesn't think that he'll take it acceptingly. Um, so she doesn't want him obviously to hear because she doesn't want him to, uh, to leave her on the streets pretty much. But if that's what, you know, she has to do, she has to do it. And he's kind of, uh, he's holding his own right now. He really is. Still got to pay the bills. And then we can go from there. All right. I can't believe he successfully pickpocketed that guy. That was pretty awesome. What is taking him so long to use the restroom? Yeah. <laughs> All right, there we go.
this pregnant lady is just chilling at her house. I don't think she's ever gonna leave. What's wrong now? We're gonna ask everyone to leave if we can. That way we can get some good sleep. Oh, he's taking his food with him to do this. Can't leave that bond. I don't know why they get like that shocked face or whatever. I was kind of reading to see if they had a good time, but I don't know. It doesn't really tell you if they did or not. I guess we just go off of what we know. Alright. He should be just going ahead and heading to bed. Because we might as well. Alright. is finally a Monday. The weekend is over. We really don't do much on the weekends. We're kind of random on the weekends. We do have a better structure during the week, like getting her off to school and stuff. It just seems to flow better. I don't know. I know it's odd, but that's my life. Odd is my middle name. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right. Alright, I'm just getting her ready for school because she's got school in just a little bit. Um, we need to get her to eat if we have enough time. Which I'm really hoping that we do because she's pretty darn hungry. I'm going to lock it in and see if she gets to it. Um, she can just eat some of those pancakes. Okay. I don't know if she's going to make it. I really don't. <laughs> Just in the nick of time, pretty much. Alright, Nina. I think Nina has either... Like, she's really starting to feel the guilt. So I think... Either we're going to make her break up with Gage, or we're going to make her break up with Jay Huntington, which is the one she slept with, correct? Gage and... Where is he? Jay. So, I don't know. She's really feeling guilty about keeping it from Gage. She feels like, you know, she's made a mistake. But, at the same time, like, the thrill at the time she knows was what she was really craving like just doing something that you're not supposed to do but obviously not doing it for the whole world to see like you're kind of keeping it to yourself or behind closed doors and that's the kind of person Nina is she likes to keep thing her skeletons in the closet like she doesn't want to let those suckers out for days so I don't know if she will be able to grow enough nerve to tell Gage, but um, I'm sure he uh, would appreciate it if she actually did step up and tell him, because they are still romantic. They're still, you know, whatever, and uh, and I'm sure he doesn't appreciate her cheating on him, so... Unfortunately, that's just kind of how it goes.
so not much happened in this ep episode, to be honest. Not much at all. But uh, I think that's where it's going to end. Do you guys think that Nina should go ahead and tell Gage that she cheated? Or what do you think we should do about the situation? Do you think that, you know, since nothing happened the first time, she is gullible enough to think that it won't happen again? And she maybe woohoos with uh, Jay Huntington again? Maybe she runs into him in the, in the outside world? I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Um, if you guys have any suggestions for what you guys think should happen or whatever, I would really like to hear what you guys think or would like to see happen. That would keep me, uh, very happy. And anyways, guys, if you guys liked it, please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe to my channel. In the description below, there is donation links. If you'd like to donate to the channel along with, um, all of my social media links and all of that other stuff. Don't forget to check out the Gawk Box link, and don't forget to check out my other channel where I have been posting some new videos. So if you're interested in other things other than Sims, that channel might be for you. Anyways, guys, thank you guys again so much, and I will talk to you guys next time.